Hey, hey, y'all. It's Kaylin. Shalom and welcome. It is another jewelry video. Well, I mean, it's another jewelry video because it's flipping jewelry for change. Hello. Okay, y'all already knew that. But anyway, <laughs> here we are. Another jewelry video. Um, today I have video number three. Um, I'm going to use these as the video description because yeah, I'm just not you know, I don't have editing software. I'm not super, like, techie, you know? So, um, I do things a little, I don't know, junky maybe? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it, but, um, we're just raw and, and we're just real and honest and, you know, all that kind of stuff on this channel. So, so this is how you can contact me if you see anything in this video that you are interested in purchasing. You can email me at flippinjewelry change at gmail.com. Um, right now it is United States only. I am brand, brand new at doing this through YouTube. And um, that's just where my comfort level is right now, uh, is U.S. only. I will do PayPal invoicing. You do not already have to have a PayPal account or create one. Um, I believe you can do a checkout as guest uh, with your payment method. Uh, shipping right now up to a pound will be $6.99 flat rate and up uh, one pound to five will be $8.99 flat rate. Um, I may invoice you for less than that if you just buy one or two items and it's like four or eight ounces and the shipping is only going to be four or five dollars then that's what I will charge you but um, this was just the easiest way I knew being brand new at this to do this to make sure that I'm covered no matter where the item is going in the US um, US and US territories of course um, and then um, I can adjust it when I send you your invoice. Uh, but just for you to calculate kind of a running total in your mind, if you're seeing several items that you want, uh, that'll give you an idea of, of what the shipping might be. Um, this will be the video number. So this is going to be V3-0224. Um, I am hoping to be able to fit these in the title somewhere. I don't know. Um, this is video number three I'm recording, but I haven't uploaded anything yet to the channel. So as, I mean, by the time you see it, there will be other videos up. But right now, I don't really know what I'm going to be able to or not be able to do. So uh, V30-0224 is the video number. Please, if you can, in your email, include the video number, the timestamp of the item that you're interested in, or timestamps of the items that you are interested in. And uh, just a little description, doesn't have to be super, super descriptive, um, just a brief description. You know, the gold necklace with red stone and three heart charms. I don't know, you know what, I, just, just a generic description. Um, but this is how you can contact me to make any purchases. We are going to jump right into it. So I learned, I started this method because uh, the first two videos that I did I've already forgotten and I didn't separate them or like, you know, leave them in their bags. I think I did them at the same time. So I still had everything kind of strewn about in my light box and yeah, I'm going to have to go back through and watch those videos to separate the items to know which items go with which video. It's, it's, uh, you know, I've, it's a learning curve. If you will just please grant me that, um, excuse me one moment while I back this tripod up off of the table because I noticed that I'm shaking it quite a bit. So hopefully this will be better. So video number three, we have another grab bag from the multitude of items that I have sitting in my inventory that have not been put on eBay yet. So um, I decided to start this channel if you watched my um, introductory video because I, I want to move the items. I want to get this stuff moved. I want to get it moving. Um, so I figure I can offer it to you guys first before it goes on eBay. Some items will never make it to eBay. Um, they'll just be sold here or maybe on other platforms. I uh, will be starting to sell on District soon and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. All of the information can be seen in the description of the video and links to um, link to my eBay store, and once I have things on District, I will link to District probably as well on there, but, ooh, I see beautiful blingy blingies. All right, well, let's just start with these two items, because look at those. Oh my goodness, okay. With this much bling, y'all know, probably there's gonna be missing rhinestones, right? So if you will just grant me a moment in time 
to take a quick glance so far. Um, I don't know what's going on here. If we just have oddly spaced ones, or let me grab my, let me grab my little friend, my little loopy friend here. Yeah, they're just oddly spaced down in that corner. Probably when they were making it, there wasn't enough room to fit two right here on the end. And then I didn't look here. So do we have, these are so pretty and sparkly and lovely. I love these. Do we have maker information? Of course we do not, but they are tiny. And is that glue? I don't know. I don't know if that's, that, that looks like maybe glue. So definitely just costumey pieces. But oh my goodness. Um, wow. I mean, if you like sparkle, you are going to sparkle in these. Um, they are coming in right at a seven, but oh my goodness gracious. Like, I mean, I feel like I'm probably about a seven, but I don't think I could get my hand in there. So just kind of take that into consideration. Maybe I'll do, I don't know, is like on a seven, does that mean this is a seven? No, it does not. So here is your, your, um, wrist opening is going to be almost at about two and a half or right at two and a half. So was that at two and a half? No, it was it. It was just shy of two and a half. So take, you know, take that into consideration if you um, are interested in these. And I'm going to say for the pair of these, I will do five for those $5 items over here. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Uh, let's pull some stuff out. Oh, here's something already bagged. What's this? Oh, oh, Skazi. This is a Skazi piece. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little more research on this. Oh my goodness. Wow, just right out the bat. I hope like everything else isn't super disappointing. I remember this now. I remember that. See, I've looked through all of this before. I've had all this for a year to over a year. Oh, where's my, where's my necklace form? We have to, we have to see this on the form. I've had all of this and I've been through all of this before. I just have forgotten what I have because it's been sitting, literally sitting on shelves for <laughs> over a year, you know, but this is, um, this is a Skazi piece and he was a, I think he started out as a jewelry designer and then got into fashion and he was um, very well known in like the the Hollywood industry you know actors and, and uh, movie goers television uh, television and movie you know productions and all of that um, for his jewelry line and then eventually his fashion line and I can't remember how far back he goes but I want to say 50s maybe was when he started I really am not I can't remember for sure but y'all this oh and you know what I think I remember that there was a flaw I'm trying to sorry this is like not good entertainment for you guys like at all I am trying to get this hooked onto the form there we go so you can see the beautiful beautiful oh my goodness let me see if I can oh do you guys see the color? I really hope that it's coming, you know, like it's showing in the camera. Oh my goodness. So I don't think I'm going to be able to price this just yet. If you want to throw a number at me for this piece, uh, because I know that some of his stuff can go for 50 and some of his stuff can go for hundreds, maybe even thousands. So um, I do believe if I recall correctly, somewhere there was a rhinestone missing. Um, and I don't, I would have to look through, this is not the original bag that everything came in. So I would have to look through, like I have a box full of just like the, I call it the scud that comes in the bottom of all the boxes. If you do mystery unboxings or baggings, you know, there's just like scud in the bottom. It's just like random bits and pieces and, you know, stuff that you could use for, for stuff like this. Uh, but these are 
absolutely glorious, glorious rhinestones. And a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I will show you just on the back here. You see the detail? Like this is when you know something, even before I, I looked up the, the maker info. When you see something like this, you just know this is quality work, right? Like the, the quality of these rhinestones, when they do, you know, take the time to do something like this on the, the end and, you know, but here is, here is that maker mark. I hope it's in frame and I hope it's focusing for you. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, we started out with two gorgeous, 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 shiny rhinestone -y pieces. So like I said, I hope the rest of the box is not absolutely terrible because that would be super disappointing after these. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to research this a little bit more for value, but if you want to throw a number at me, um, and uh, hopefully when I upload this video, I will be able to edit to, to put on the screen um, whether there was a, a missing stone, you know, one, two, or, or I was incorrect or whatever. Let's pull this some more of this stuff out. Okay, so these, in one of my last videos, and I think I still have that box on my table here. Is there anything else in here like this? Just real quick, I don't think so. Let me see if I can find, give me just a minute because... Here it is. So in my one of my last videos, I had this piece, and I remembered that somewhere I had more pieces that were made like this. Um, so here they are, and they are. I was gonna lot them all together, but I don't really think that they go well in a lot because this one is so gigantic, and you know, just it's just gigantic. And I I don't know. I want to research these gemstones a little bit. Um, it's odd to me that I mean I would assume it maybe it's some kind of a quartz or something, but um, you know, they're like very smoky and hazy and they have a lot of uh, like crackles and stuff inside but then like these random hot pink splotches so I don't even know if these are genuine um, I don't have a presidium I wasn't going to get one but y'all the more I go through this jewelry again and the more I watch other people's videos I'm thinking I may invest in one so that may be coming very soon I approach a lot of decisions that I make um, with prayer so I am you know considering I'm researching and uh, praying about that um, but I'm, I'm feeling more and more inclined and led to go ahead and make that purchase uh, I, I don't mind to make it as long as I know that it will pay off in the future um, I don't really like to buy things unless I know that somehow that, that cost can be recovered. So um, I think it would be. If you are a jewelry person and you have a presidium and you sell, um, leave me a comment about, down below. Have you found that um, you've gotten your money's worth? Because they are, you know, they're just under $300. That's, that's a pretty big expense for me anyway in my budget. Um, so if you've got one, let me know. Do you think that they are worth what you paid for it? So these are, these feel acrylic. They're a little cold to the touch, but I feel like they're just cold to the touch because it's always cold in my house. Uh, and it's on gold tone and they are um, like a rosy color with a little bit of gold on them. I don't know if you can, can kind of see that on those beads. And then we have these two and this is very cold to the touch and these I think are glass. See, and this is where it would be handy because if nothing else, I would know, okay, they're just glass, but these are are probably glass. I like to touch things. If I touch things under my, like under your chin, on your neck where it's really soft. Yeah, I think these are actually acrylic. So like these and these. So I, would you wear these together? Maybe what I'll do is just this. I'm, I'll do, I'll do this one for three. I do think those are some kind of a gemstone or I mean maybe glass I don't know they're very cold but they do feel like they're warming up a bit the more I touch them so uh, we'll just do three on this and I'll do these for um, a dollar each so now where am I gonna put all these things so that's five that box is probably gonna be like eBay ten and up five three and one. I'm never going to remember this. Um, did, was, did we? Okay. I feel like we just had one of these. 
Did we just have one of these? Maybe I'm just really remembering it. These are really cool though. They're cold to the touch. Um, they are probably glass beads. Well, yeah, you clink them, you can hear their glass beads. But do you see, can you see the movement? They're just really cool. And some of them, some of them have the lines going this way. Some of them has, have the lines going that way. So it's just when you wear it, there's lots of movement. It's a stretchy and, and the stretch is good. I love, I'm a very tactile, sensory seeking person. <laughs> I always say I fit in in my special ed classroom very, very well. I, I totally get those kids, you know. Um, I love the way this feels. I love the way it feels on. I like how it kind of hugs my wrist. And I just, I could just literally sit and watch TV and just like, just do this. Like while I'm watching TV at night or something. I know y'all, you're going to learn. I am, I'm just a little weird and quirky and, but you know, hey, I am who I am. I, you know, I make no apologies. It's just, this is the way God created me. So, oh, that's kind of cool. You could fold it up and, and have it like at half. But I did that to make it easier to throw on here and to get maybe a more accurate size guide. I mean, unstretched, you're coming in at about six and a quarter. Um, but obviously, like, it, you know, let's see how far it would, it would stretch. It would stretch comfortably probably at about a seven and a half. I really hope all of this is in frame. I, I really hope it's all in frame. So I'll do this one for, I'll do this for five. Here we have a trio of um, just hollow bangles made in China, uh, stainless steel. These are uh, stainless steel hollow bangles and they come in at seven and three quarter, looks like. It's kind of hard to tell, seven and a half to seven and three quarter. Uh, and I will do, they're in pretty good shape. They don't, well, obviously, like they don't look like they've ever been worn. Well, they probably haven't ever been worn because would you wear them and, and leave like all of this on? Oh, goodness. Uh, silver tone, gold tone, and rose gold tone. And we'll do these for three. Was this my three pile? I'll do those for three. Um, if uh, I throw anything in, I, I will eventually find some things for craft. If I throw anything in craft that you're interested in, craft items will be a dollar each. Um, I, I mean, if you know, if it's well, if it's really crappy, you're probably not going to want it. So <laughs> I was going to say, if it's really crappy, it'll be like fifty cents. But you're you probably wouldn't ask for that stuff. But if it's something you see that I don't deem as really you know in good enough condition to sell, but you're like, well, I would wear that. Like it's not that bad. Um, just let me know and. I do request at least um, a $5 minimum purchase just to cover, you know, the, the fees and stuff because PayPal will charge fees and, you know, there's shipping. I do box everything nicely for shipping and, um, you know, there's all that to consider. So we have a nice long necklace here. Um, where did my tape measure go? This is coming in at, I meant to fasten this thing down to my table and I forgot. So let's see if I can do that real quick. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Sorry y'all, I know this is not, not the best when, hi, I'm still here, when you can't see me. So when I measure, I measure like this. I just hold it like this and I'm measuring this way. So take that in consideration. There will be a little, you know, less that way. But if I tried to unclasp it and measure the whole thing, it would, like, I'd have to leave the, the table for that. This is coming in at, my tape measure slid away from me, 16 inches. And it is, um, it's really cute. It's like some little, little teeny tiny faux pearls. I'm like, fairly certain. Am I in frame? Oh my goodness. I need to hold stuff up higher. So if you didn't know, you can rub two pearls together. If they're super slick like these are, um, they are not real. And if they're kind of gritty, um, that is an indication that they are most likely real. You can also rub them on your teeth, but um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm just not about putting jewelry from a grab bag on my teeth. <laughs> And honestly, the times, like I have a pearl necklace of my own. And uh, when I first heard about that and tried it, I like, I really couldn't tell. Like, I, I just couldn't tell, you know? Um, anyway, there are some little, little seed beads, some little, probably acrylic beads. I think these little seed beads are glass. And so we've got white and silver 
and um, a little bit of sparkle here and there, especially down here at the bottom with these little faceted beads. So let's do three on that. Oh, what's this? Oh, how cute. How pretty is that? It's it's just acrylic. It's very lightweight. It's not I wish it was like real carved on like, you know, wood or bone or something like that, but it's not. It's got a nice little chain though. It's definitely got some age to it. I don't know that these were original to each other or if maybe somebody, you know, just had this and they wanted this chain to put it on. Actually, I'm going to say that might be the case cuz I don't see What's this? Oh, it's just where the link was hanging down because I didn't have it fully stretched. Um, it's an over the head. There's no clasp. So that's interesting, but you can see the, um, if I'm holding it in the right place and hopefully it's, um, I don't know what this kind of a chain is called, but it's really cool. I like the way it's got like the smaller links and the larger ones, but we'll do this for, uh, I'll do this for two bucks. How about, do I have a $2? Yeah, the twos are over here. Okay. Um, this looks like a, why do I feel like I just did this video? This is the second item that I'm feeling like, I don't know. Um, yeah. So that looks like a peach pit. I mean, is, is that like, if anyone has any ideas on what this might be, could you please share the information with me? Because um, I just say, don't know why, what would be the significance of a peach pit that you would create a piece of jewelry out of it. That's very interesting. Um, and then, well, because we have a peach pit, I'm going to guess that maybe these are like from coconut, maybe these little bitty can you see these little bitty things maybe are made from from coconut shells would be my guess these kind of if you see how it's got this little mark these kind of look like they might be some kind of a seed uh, and these are little wood bits here so um, interesting we've got an older style barrel clasp yeah um, so yeah there's that and that's going to go in craft because I can't imagine why anybody would want, you know, maybe you could use all the other things that were on it, but the peach pit, I, that's, that's got me stumped. Y'all tell me if, if there's like something I don't know about that, let me know. Um, no maker or identification information. We have two lobster clasps, um, but some very, very pretty beads, like a, a real pretty copper tone and then some amber colored and um, darker brown, really, really nice. So, so just something somebody probably made at home. Um, I'll try to pull that through just so you can kind of see. We've got some faceted beads giving off a little bit of sparkle here and there, but yeah, that's really nice. And I, oh, you want to know a length on that one? This one is coming in at just over 13 inches and I'll do two on that. Um, yeah. Remember I told you I'm like a sensory seeking, like tactile kind of person. Yeah. I also like have certain things that I have an aversion to and like cloth items that aren't my own or, you know, somebody I know really well. Yeah. That yuck. What's happening here? Okay. Um, but this is really cool looking. How, what's happening? Okay. So somebody just took some like cross stitch floss and braided it to make this. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely beautiful though. So yeah, I will, um, I'll be cutting this off cause that's just, ew. <laughs> if I had scissors right here with me now, I would cut it off right now. But this is gorgeous. I, I love wood pieces. I just, I just love wood pieces. Even when I'm out thrifting for like hard goods and stuff, I am, does anyone watch Karen Lavender Clothesline? Um, she's a reseller. I love her Goodwill videos. She goes, she goes shopping and she's always like, do we love good wood? Yes, we do. It's just beautiful. It's just very retro seventies. Yeah. I just, I love it. Um, 
Oh, let me look. I gotta, I gotta come like way over here to see, is this even in frame? Is it focusing? Maybe I need to come down there. Can you see the wood grain and stuff? I don't know. I can't really tell because the angle that my camera is at versus where I am versus which eye has the good contact. And you know, I have one, I have one contact lens that sees distance and one that sees close up and the distance one is the one that's looking at the screen. So everything's blurry for me. I really hope it's not blurry for you. Um, this either is, this is interesting. Hmm. So, I mean, it looks like wood, but it feels like acrylic. I thought well, maybe it's just got like a nice lacquer across it, but I'll have to, I don't know if I'll be able to see in there with that little ring to be able to tell. It is. Oh my goodness. It is. And it, all of these, where's the camera? Get in the camera screen there, Kaylin. Um, do you see the, you see the lines here? You see my terrible fingernails and dry skin. I'm sorry about that. But um, this is all individual pieces of wood that have been, there's a, uh, there's a, a there's a, a word for that and I can't think of what it is. But these are, when I look through my loop at the, the hole right here that's been drilled for this piece, you can actually see all the different layers in there too. This is beautiful and um, Gosh, I don't know, like, this is where I struggle with this, but I am trying to move things. So for the pendant, um, I will do $5. And if I am giving this away for a steal of a deal, then you got a great deal. It, it, even if it's not like something super valuable, I think at five bucks, it's amazing for a little pendant. You know, I mean, I'm happy to leave these strings on for you if you want, just let me know, but ew. <laughs> Uh, so leather pieces, I'm not super crazy about the leather bands either because I just feel like you, you can only clean stuff so much, um, but this is kind of cute. It's just one of those sliders with like a twine on the back, uh, probably not genuine leather if I had to guess. Um, these are plastic and it just says hope. I'm not even in frame. Oh my gosh. I'm going to watch this whole video back and I'm going to have to re-record it because nothing's going to be in frame. Let me do this. Since apparently I keep holding things down here, I'm just going to move it. How's that? Um, I never moved it back either. That might be part of the problem. Let's see. Pardon me. Bear with me a minute if I can get my camera to... It's not going to cooperate. So, uh, But anyway, it says hope. If you're interested in that, it will be in craft for a dollar. Uh, what is this? We have another little barrel clasp with a little piece of fishing line in the middle that's making it very difficult for me to you gotta get the fishing line right in the middle of the other barrel um, some little wood beads I don't know what what kind they are they're kind of they're soft they're kind of soft and then you've got these um, really really pretty glass beads multicolored every so often so that's kind of cute it's got a nice little nice little boho hippie vibe to it and I'll do that one for two. Oh, do you want to know the length that one measures about eight and a half so two dollars for that and then yeah this will be in craft these are just little wood beads on a stretch so those will be in craft um, a chain link, like really hard silver tone, like antique silver tone bangle at eight and a half inches. Did I just see? Felt like I just saw a piece like sticking out. No, nope. my imagination. Uh, but that'll, I'll put that in craft. I can't imagine anybody would want that. Uh, here's a pretty, oh, this is very pretty. Are any of these, these look like little nails um, that have been, you know, like you see on furniture, how they, they put the little nail studs in there as decorative pieces. They're all there. This is cute. Just a solid piece of wood, a bangle with some silver tone studs all around. That's coming in at eight and a quarter. And I'll do this one for two. Let's go, let's go. We have more. Not a whole lot. Ooh, blingy, blingy. Let's just get to it, right? So cute. 
cute. So not anything special. Special. It's just on one of those stretch bands. But look at that. I love anything sparkly and glittery. As long as it's not the kind of glitter that comes off and gets all over your hands. I absolutely hate that. And in fact, the teachers in my room that I assist um, love to put me in charge of any and all craft projects that involve glitter. Just because they love to torment me as if working with toddlers all day long is not, you know, hard enough, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this, I don't have my mandrel, doggone it. Man, well, if I can edit, I'll put the size, but I mean, it's a stretchy, so, and the stretch is, is the stretch is pretty good, um, and it actually has all of, well, oh, hold on, no, I was going to say maybe there's one missing right here, but I think it just is that they couldn't fit an extra one all the way across. So I think that's a fun one, and I maybe I'm crazy for pricing it at, I don't know, what should we do on this? Would you pay five? If not, and um, you know, you, you really want it, uh, look at the AB coating on this little strip in the middle. It's beautiful. I think it's worth five, but you know, I am, I am negotiable on things, especially if you're going to purchase multiple items, you know, we'll go, oh my goodness. You know, we'll, we'll work something out. We'll, we'll strike a deal, but look at all the sparkle in this bag. I'm loving it. I just love all things sparkle. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Okay, I'm going to put that aside because I want everything else to be cleared out of here. Let's, uh, we've got a couple of copper pieces. This, oh, I thought it, oh my gosh, it's a fish. I thought at first it had something like engraving on it, but um, it's a fish. Can you see it? Can y'all see that? If I come in a little closer, look, it's a fish. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's just a little copper fish cuff. How adorable is that? Is there a name on it anywhere? Of course not. Why would there be a name? Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. That's adorable. And this, well, I should have stayed zoomed in so you could see the detail on this one. So this is all, I mean, it's, it's like filigree in that it's got all these intricate cuts and stuff in it, but it's just, it's not a filigree because filigree is usually very thin lines, but, um, but then it's solid on the back. So it's got this like three dimensional look like it's hollow underneath. Um, these are pretty and gosh, see, I don't know. I'll do them for five each. If you're interested in both, uh, we'll do, I'll do seven for the pair. So five each, I'll put them in there. And then if you're interested in both of those, just remind me, I said seven for the pair. I mean, I can go back on, on the video, but it would be most helpful if you reminded me. We have a very old clasp on this, and these are, they are um, knotted in between, and they are feeling just in my hand. Well, my hands are very dry, but they are feeling very textured. Um, so I'm going to say, sometimes, you know, you can scuff them a little bit. So when I'm rubbing pearls together on a necklace, I like to go close to the clasp because that'll be behind the neck where you won't really see anything. There is some verdigris on this clasp, which is not ideal and not what I want to see. But, um, you know, they are feeling like glass to me. They are not, like, they're feeling pretty slick. They're not really... So maybe it's just in need of a really good cleaning. Maybe it's just my dry hands. I don't know. That's that's kind of that is uh, kind of surprising to me. Let me go down just a little bit further, and yeah, they seem pretty slick. So I'm thinking these are just uh, really really pretty colored glass beads, looking like a very antiqued vintage pearl necklace. Um, here is our clasp. So it's just a hook style. It does have some verdigree on it and um, I will try to get that cleaned up. That needs to be squeezed closed a little more, which I can certainly do before I ship it out if anyone is interested in it. I don't think there's gonna be any markings on this. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. So yeah, nice uh, weight to them. 
and a really cool color I think they just they look very vintage so I'll do this for five what's this oh this is interesting hmm. interesting yeah <laughs> that's usually what I say if it's just not my style or I really just have no clue what I'm looking at I'll say oh that's is interesting um, I do like this though that's pretty look how pretty that is I'm just not really sure how you would like fasten this does not appear to have any missing rhinestones so that's a plus is there information anywhere on it oh there is some writing right there in the middle I will be back in a moment let me turn this on it helps if I have this turned on it would help if I change the batteries in it too because the lights are very dim Um, I, it looks like re Joel designs, R E and then capital J O E L designs, or is it R, you know, yeah, it's R E J O E L designs, re Joel, re Joel designs. Interesting. Um, I might have to look this up. I'll have to put this in the in the look it up pile and then I think my editing software limits me to like four items that I can like you know like I can put text or a picture on the screen and I think I can only do four in one video so I um, if I have not exceeded that will um, put a price on the screen or if if you don't see a price that means I exceeded my four by the time I got here so this feels pretty good and I don't see like the typical with like bonded leather that you would see with age as it just starts to kind of crumble so um, looks pretty good I just I don't know why these are I guess that's just the way it was made these are separate like that and then you just slide it through like this to wear it does it stay like that and then put it in I guess it would yeah so um, I would say safely I would this would be about the smallest yikes maybe not even so let me just pull that through a little more maybe this would be about this the smallest I would want to wear that safely and at that it is seven and a half and did I did I have a reason I don't think I have a research so we're gonna that's our first research piece and again I will try to put a price on the screen but if I did not put a price on the screen just message me and um, let me know you're interested in it this is about 17 inches and again we've got that type of chain where it's several small links and then a larger link and then we've got these beautiful glass this has a very um a very old i mean it is vintage most things with the style clasp are vintage do we have any information on here i don't see anything um these are really pretty i love things that i think this is called bezel set right when it like completely encompasses and surrounds um we have a point on one side and a table on the other and um, I can't remember exactly what that means, <laughs> but I know that's like, you know, something that you want in, uh, in crystals. Maybe that means it's crystal versus a rhinestone. Yeah, rhinestones are usually backed, right? Rhinestones usually are not um, clear, but um, these are cute. I like, it's like a, it's a, an antiqued, uh, what do they call it? Like a gunmetal silver. And then um, you have all these little clear crystals. So I'll do that one for three. I think this was my three pile. We have a, another wood. This was the wood lot, apparently. Another wood stretchy bracelet that will be in craft. I see. No, I thought that was a wood piece. What's this? Oh, sad. This is going in craft. Look at though. They're all heart shaped. Oh, that makes me really sad. That's cute. What's going on with, oh, it's got like this older style clasp. Wow. Man, this is an old piece. This is a really old piece. But look at the, I just, I think this is so cool. You have like a chain and then you've got the ball chain and then all of these heart rhinestones. Wow. 
That's kind of, it's a little bit, well, it's a little loose, but it definitely secures. Why did there have to be one missing? And like, why couldn't it be one? I guess if you're really crafty, you could remove one from back here and put it in there. Maybe one day I'll get that crafty and like confident in my ability, but I'm not there right now. I'm barely at the, I should be making videos stage. <laughs> That's questionable. Just be nice in the comments. <laughs> so six and a half. Um, and unfortunately, this one's going to have to go in craft because, yeah, it's missing one. That's sad. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, plastic. But how cute is that little, like, leopard color, but it's tiger, tiger print adjustable ring. That'll go in craft. Um, a faux leather. Cha oh, this is Harry Potter. Do you have a Harry Potter fan at home? That's going to be in craft for a dollar. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, magnetic. Stretch. If y'all have watched my other videos, you may have seen me. I think I broke something on a video once. I might be thinking like a long time ago, though, when I was like, when I thought that I was going to upload jewelry videos and then I... I stopped after like two because I was like, yeah, I was already overwhelmed. Um, these are pretty though. Look at the, um, the detail on these little square metal pieces. And then there's a little rhinestone in the center. And then we've got these little faceted beads. And then these are magnetic. They are like, see, they like stick to each other. I know there was a thing like back in the 90s, I think, maybe early to mid 90s where, um, wait, it was late 90s, early 2000s because I think it was after my son was born that like the magnetic jewelry, everybody was like all the thing that they were saying it had healing properties and it was good for arthritis and, and stuff like that. Don't know whether that was true, but I did wear a magnetic um, bracelet for quite some time, but it's got quite a bit of wear to it. Um, on these little metal, the little metal pieces, you can see where the silver tone's wearing off and the base metal looks like it's copper underneath is, um, is showing. Uh, so I'm probably going to put that in craft, but it's really cool. Looks, it's got like an old look to it. Here is a, um, stretch faux pearl. See again, they, well now these, these are just, yeah, grimy. That's why they're feeling like they <laughs> are, you know, they feel like the real deal, but they are absolutely not. Those were plastic. Um, we've got another little fashion ring here on um, an adjustable band. Again, I don't have my mandrel, but it's adjustable. And I feel like, I think I'm about an eight on my index finger, if I remember correctly. And so just where it is sitting now, I'm going to guess that's where it is. But um, it'll be in craft. I don't know. I just, I don't know. You know, if it's like really super cute, then, oh, I have already pulled this up. Oh, this is really super cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love this. Oh, please have a name. I'm trying to like go down here so I can kind of pull it up so you can see. Am I? Yeah, I'm still kind of zoomed out a little bit. I gotta get that. Ah. All right. Well, y'all just be nice in the comments. I'm just, I feel like that's going to be like a common theme in my videos. Y'all just be nice in the comments, please. <laughs> let's get my necklace, necklace form or my neck form and let's do it that way. First, let's see. Oh, we have a little hang tag. What does that say? Oh, that is, what's that? Premier? What? Premier? Way to go, Premier. I, I have to say I'm genuinely shocked. Okay, wait. So it might just be a premier extender because that is on this, which is an extension. So I guess I'll do a Google image search and see, but here is the actual necklace. I'll leave that extender, uh, you know, I'll leave that attached to it so that you can have that if you would like. Um, the necklace is without the extension, it is coming in just shy of eight inches. And then with the extension, you have another four. So little bitty thing, but oh my gosh, look how cute that is. <gasps> look how cute. Oh my goodness. This is so adorable. 
oh my gosh, there is so much going on. So it's just a, a, um, a metal ball chain that's like really, really, really antiqued. Um, like it's, it's, there's a little bronziness to it. Uh, it's not like it kind of looks black, but it's got a little bronzy undertone, if that makes sense. But these, look at the different beads that are on here. Oh my goodness, this has like, like a, a metallic shimmer to it. And then so here we have some blue ones, gold tone. There's like an amber color. There's a little white mesh. Can you see the little white mesh under there? Another gold tone, some little purple, light purple ones, a darker purple. Oh my gosh. Look, here's some of the little square ones in white. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I know I sound ridiculous, but look at all these. This is adorable, y'all. This is adorable. I wish I could Google Lens this right now to see if this is actually Premier. Uh, I'm going to do this for 10. I absolutely am going to put this. This is going to go on eBay probably for like, probably for at least 20. Let me um, attach this to it. Was there anything on here? No, there wasn't anything on here. So sorry. Once again, what happened? Oh, I moved it up. Let me move it back down. Okay, so I was going to keep this attached. So let me do that real quick. I'll just do it this way just so I remember that I was going to keep this attached, but I love this. I love this piece so much. That is so pretty. Okay, let's get to this. So agate or jasper. Most I saw had lots of veins. Oh, I think that means most of the jasper I saw. So this is all when I was researching these things um, before I got super overwhelmed and just put everything in bags and put it on the shelf and forgot about it. <laughs> and again, this is where a gem tester would come in handy, right? Because this would probably tell me if it was agate or jasper. So I guess jasper has a lot of veining, and I would have to look at this under a loop. But um, this has a lot of, like, stripes and color variations in it. Does that mean anything? Very cold to the touch. I'll put it on the form just so you can kind of see. What's the value of agate and jasper? Does anyone know? Like, would this be a piece that I wouldn't want to to sell for too little? I don't know. Um, I don't really know much about it, so I'm just going to say 10. Is it focusing? I can't tell because it's not the right not the right contact lens. Maybe if I come in like this, it'll do better. Uh, but it's got lots of beautiful colors in it. There's tans and dark brown and light brown. There's some red hues coming through. There's some blue, some purples. Um, really, really, really pretty. Lots of different color in that. It has, put my form back up there. It does have the older style, um, let me zoom back out, uh, barrel clasp. And then it measures unclasped. Again, remember, it measures at about nine and a half. So from this point to this point, nine and a half. I guess that would, does that mean it's like an 18 inch necklace? Is that how like you measure unstretched? I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say 10. I hope I'm not super underpricing. Uh, if I am, you're getting a great deal. Uh, this, oh, this is, in crap. This was, I remember when I um, stretched and broke this one. That made me really sad because look at these. How pretty. Oh, would that have not been perfect for Valentine's Day? So beautiful. All these little links that were all nicely together on this stretch bracelet, but this is why I pull on things. It's like a little gold tone, a little silver tone. That probably means the gold tone is wearing off, but um, this is why I stretch things, you know, in, in the videos when, when I get them, because I want to break it on, you know, on my terms and not yours, or I guess I should say on my dime, not on your dime. Um, I can't, I can't get that out of there, but, uh, yeah, so this will be in craft, sad, but absolutely beautiful. And if you know how to restretch, there you go. There's a, that would be a really, really cute bracelet for somebody. So that'll be in craft for a dollar. And what I probably will do as I get enough craft stuff together, I'll eventually do some craft jars. Here's, um, oh my goodness, they're owls. What? Oh, see, this is when I'm so tempted to keep it. Oh, 
I love owls. They're so cute. I used to collect owl stuff. Am I back on? Yeah, the tripod is back somehow. It got back on the table because I noticed that it's shaking. I used to collect owl things and then I just decided to do. I, I collect Scooby. That's it. I'm allowing myself my Scooby collection because I think we all need to just always embrace our inner child. Um, and I'm just a big overgrown child. So, which is probably why I love teaching preschool because I get to play with kids and I get to play with kid things all day long, <laughs> every single day. Um, but these are owls. Look at that. Three little owls on one of these wire, handmade wire bracelets. And let's see. It's very, it's very soft. But, oh, okay. I'm going to be good. I'm not going to keep it because I want to be able to buy more of these boxes and do more of these videos and just enjoy interacting with everyone and, um, you know, having fun. So, uh, I will offer this one. Did I put the other ones in the $3? I think I put the other ones in the $3 pile. I don't know, but I mean, this is cute. It's got little owl charms. I'm going to put it in the $3 pile. That's going to go over there. What's this? Oh, oh, so pretty. Oh, see, this is another one. That, like I kind of want to research these beads first and make sure like, I, I doubt any of them are Pandora. None of them really look to be Pandora quality. But look at those. Cloisonne, is that what that is? When it's uh, metal and uh, like, you know, the metal outline makes the design and then it's filled with enamel or paint. These are very pretty. Glass beads. That one's got a little. It doesn't feel like a chip. It just seems like a little, like a hiccup. Maybe when they were making the bead, they, you know, like when you accidentally dent your nail polish, that's what that looks like. <laughs> like they accidentally dented the bead. And then we've got these little pink hearts on a rose gold one that has seen better days. Um, what's this? Pink and white. It's, it's giving me Hello Kitty vibes, but I don't, I don't think, I think it's just random pink and white. I'm not seeing a design. Are you, is anyone else seeing any kind of a design in there? Maybe there is, and I'm just not seeing it. Um, this is very pretty, uh, pretty sure that's acrylic, but it's like, let me see if it's cold. It is actually, I, I like to touch things, you know, under right here is usually a, a nice sensitive spot, but also like right under your chin, um, is a nice spot that you can just kind of test temperatures really well. So that, see, that was silver tone over copper, but those have little teeny tiny. Oh, that's an, is it? Okay, hold on. I got it. I got to look at my loop. Oh, no, it's just, it's just like a, like a, like a, this kind of a design over and over like, boop, boop, boop. You got that, right? Right? You, you know exactly what I was talking about when I did that? Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> so, um, if you're interested in this, message me. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm thinking I might take all of these off. Because if you watch one of my other videos, you saw a whole bunch of these style um, beads that I had and a bunch of these bracelets. Um, but I can't remember what the clasp style was like. And I did, like, I made my own bracelet from all of the items that I had found. But I wasn't crazy about the actual bracelet part. Something about the clasp that I... That I I wasn't crazy about. Um, so I might keep this clasp for myself. Well, I don't know. I'm, well, it has an extender, so. Well, let's see. Because I don't really think I would want to use the extender. Yeah, I think that would work. Oh, and I also don't want to lose all those beads right now. So if you're interested in this, just message me. Um, if Because I'm just, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'll try to make a decision here um, pretty soon. This is cute. This has little hearts all over it, too. So yeah, but what I'll probably do if no one messages me that they're interested in in this, uh, if you are and I decide to keep this, I'll just swap it with one of the other. It's this exact style chain. It just has, I think, a different closure. Um, but if nobody reaches out, then these beads will just go in those lots. 
So I'll put that over here with my research so I remember. A couple more just little fashion rings. Oh, this is a nice. See how they when they put the little I don't know if that was made that way or if it's one of those aftermarket ones, but I love these these kinds of resizers you can get to put inside your rings uh, because they're kind of springy. I like that. I've had these at style and then I've had some that are like a plastic piece that like clips across like this and then it pushes and I don't like those plastic ones. But this is just a pretty little blue flower, um, a flower with a blue rhinestone in the middle. And again, I don't have... I think I am five, six, seven, eight, if I remember. Now, I have not measured my my fingers in many, many years, so that may be incorrect, but too big for five with that little thing in there. It looks like it fits well right there. Um, I can, if you email me, um, obviously I can, uh, I can measure, you know, I can let you know for sure what the size is. There is, it was gold tone and most of that has worn off. But the ring itself, I mean, I think it looks very pretty as is, and I'll do that for, I'll do that for three. And then this is um, lots of really cute rhinestones, clear and black on a little adjustable um, base that's going to go in craft. And then we are down to our last two, oh, sorry, three items. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. These are, I have never, okay, so this is going to go in research. I've never seen beads like this. I don't know if, are you seeing, am I in frame? Are you seeing that? It's like, I don't know if these are metal or if they're just painted. I'll have to look with the loop at each one of them later on, but there, there's like three sides to these these, I don't, glass, or if it's some kind of a stone, I don't know. They're green. They're real pretty. Can you see? It's it's like a, a yellowy green color. Well, it's not really even a yellowy green now that I think think the gold is, is casting that. I'm thinking, so they're shaped like a, a triangle. They have like a triangular shape. There's one, two, three, flat surfaces where you can see the stone and then all around all of the areas that are not flat it's gold and I'm thinking it's painted gold but maybe it's maybe it's metal like these have been inserted into metal I don't know like these are metal these little beads there's not going to be any information on here of course that's just why I mean how do you make something this beautiful and just I mean, there was a lot of artistry that went into that, and you don't put your name on it. I don't know. Very interesting. I'm going to research this one. Um, I'm just going to throw... I'm not going to throw a price. If you're interested, email me. We'll talk. Um, I might find out that it's really like it's nothing, and these beads are a dime a dozen at every craft store on every corner of every city and state in America, but I'm going to research it. So, last two pieces. I don't know why I'm like so excited about that one. I'm doing it last. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. It's a little sunflower and it looks like, yeah, it's hinged. So somehow it does open. Oh, just got to stick your nail in there. So you could put a little, a little picture or something in there. You could put a little, a little, uh, dab of, uh, like a cotton swab or something in there with some essential oil and, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't do that because I don't know if this would, like the metal, if that would discolor the metal. But I was thinking then like, you know, you put some lavender. If you're super stressed, you just open it and take a big, take a big whiff. Um, you could probably, well, never mind. I was going to say you could probably put like a couple dimes in there, you know, in case you need to make a phone call. I just dated myself, like really, really, really dated myself. <laughs> So yeah, um, or you can just wear it as is and not put anything in there, you know, which is probably what you should do. <laughs> so you could clasp this, it looks like just about anywhere that you wanted to wear it like, let me get my form again, do it this way. I promise this video is almost over y'all. <laughs> if we're even still recording, cause I can't tell, you know what? I don't think it's recording. 
I don't know. I can't tell. I'm, gonna, I'm absolutely going to die if I have to do this whole thing over again. Um, so yeah, you could wear it like, you know, where it's like around your neck and part of it's hanging down, you know, like I'm doing this horribly like that. Or you could take this all the way down and clasp it right there. Um, but yeah, it's cute. And it's, then it's got like all these silver and gold tone like squigglies and hammered circle thingies and I think I saw a mark in here so let's take a quick look at that um gildette g I think it's g-i-l-d-e-t-t-e -T -T -E. I'll do a little research on that but I'll just say ten dollars I might find that it's not worth three, and if that's the case, I will let you know. Um, oh, I should have left the necklace form out so we can take a look at this last piece, which is glorious. So we've got this older style clasp. Let me get that hooked real quick. Oh my goodness, the sparkle on this is so pretty. Oh, wow, look at that. So beautiful so beautiful. I'm, I mean, I'm fairly certain these are just glass. Look at the AB coating on these. They're all faceted. These are like faceted beyond faceted. Oh my gosh, the glam and the, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So I'll do this one for, oh, let's see if gold tone on the back, a little bit of wear on that class. Other, otherwise it's really, really in great condition. I'm going to say 15. I'm going to go a little crazy and say 15 because I think I would probably list this at about 26 or 30. So yeah, that's going to do it for us on this unboxing. So we had these were kind of my, oh my goodness moments that I absolutely loved these three pieces and then of course we had lots of glitz and and you know sparkle with these other ones and yes so again I will remind you that this is uh, video number v3-0224 and you are going to send an email to flip and jewelry for change at gmail.com that is f-l-i-p-p-i-n-j-e-w-e-l-r-y the number four C-H-A-N-G-E at gmail.com just in case you left like, you know, three minutes ago and, and you're just listening but there was something early on that you wanted. Uh, United States and territories only at this time. PayPal invoicing and again, shipping may not be $699, it might be less um, but I won't know until I actually have your your information and the items that you want. Include a time stamp, time stamp of the item or items that you are interested in and a brief description and we'll get the items out to you really, really soon. So I will see y'all on the next one. Thanks for hanging with me. Bye, y'all.